I want to start back in old Jerusalem. Uh, behind me, as I said earlier, is the replica of Jerusalem. And from Jerusalem, Jesus commissioned his followers to go and evangelize and share the gospel and make disciples. Now, I've memorized this scripture when I was a child, but I'm going to just kind of point at it and look at it for authority's sake that it's from the word of God. And Jesus said, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to observe all things that I've commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the ends of the earth. Now, the early believers began to do this. They went out and they began to share Jesus everywhere. And people became followers and then disciples of Christ and were filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. And they went and the word spread until finally it reached me 2,000 years later. And many of you now have received Jesus. Now, what about follow-up? This is one of the most uh, questioning concepts in the church and among pastors and among even followers of Christ. Do I share Christ with a stranger and then they pray and receive Jesus, but I don't see him anymore. I can't disciple them. And so many people I have heard over and over and over and over say, it's a waste of time if you can't follow up. And in many ways, I believe that we have erred in, in, in putting such an emphasis on follow up until we've stopped evangelism because we're afraid that the person doesn't mean it. The preacher that prayed with me when I received Jesus in the parking lot, I never saw him again, but he introduced me to Jesus, and Jesus never left me. And others God raised up to follow up with me in my walk with Jesus. Now, I'm just going to give you two, and there's many illustrations I could give, but remember the demoniac? Uh, this is probably one of the worst cases that Jesus dealt with, with a man when he went across the Sea of Galilee, and there was a man that was naked. He had broken chains. He was a wild man. And, and this man was full of demons. And Jesus met this man, cast out his demons. Remember the story? They Demons wanted to go uh, into the swine. And so Jesus cast the demons into the pigs, and the pigs ran and jumped off the cliff and drowned in the lake. That's, that's the horrible demons that man was filled with. And the Bible said that then as Jesus taught, he was sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind. And now if anybody had a reputation, he did and now he's converted, and Jesus and the disciples are going to go over on the other side, going back, leaving. And the man said, I want to go. I want to go. And Jesus said, no. Go back home and share what great things God has done for you. Months later, the Bible records Jesus going back over to the land of the Gadareans, and now this time they bring the sick and, and Jesus heals them. They welcome Jesus. So this new convert that wanted to join the band and follow Jesus, Jesus left him alone with no follow-up except God's Spirit. If you would like to know Jesus and invite him into your heart, please pray this prayer with me now. Dear God, I need you. And as best as I know how, I give you my life. I believe Jesus died on the cross for my sins, arose from the dead 
and ascended into heaven. I repent of my sins and welcome Jesus into my heart to be my Lord and Saviour. Write my name in your book and make my home in heaven. I am not ashamed of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for hearing my prayer and saving my soul. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.